The gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Schneider, is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you. Uh, Deputy Attorney General, I believe you touched earlier on this, but I, I want to confirm your answer. Do you agree with the unanimous finding of the Director of National Intelligence and the 17 agencies of the intelligence community that Russia, on orders of Vladimir Putin, actively worked to interfere in the 2016 presidential election? I agree with the assessment of the intelligence community, yes. Um, well, Mr. Rosenstein, in an October interview with the Target USA podcast, you stated the following, quote, if we have foreign countries that are seeking to interfere in our elections, I think we need to take appropriate actions in response, end quote. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Unfortunately, on several occasions, including recently before this very committee, Attorney General Sessions stated that we're not where we need to be on this issue, and there's no review underway by the department on what steps it should be taking. You've said that protecting the integrity of our elections is a high priority. You seem to indicate earlier that you have had conversations with the Attorney General and FBI Director. I have a simple yes or no question. Has there been a formal review of the attacks made on the 2006 16 election, and what DOG, DOJ must do to protect the integrity of our 2018 elections. Congressman, that's the second time uh, this issue has been raised, and I, I did not watch all the Attorney General's testimony, and I'll have to check, but my, I believe he may have been referring to a review of legislation as opposed to a review of the issue. He, no, if I can reclaim my time. I asked him very specifically what steps had been taken following the um, appearance on the Senate side and a question asked by Senator Sass if any steps had been taken to review the elections and to take steps to protect our future elections. I'm asking the same question of you, simple yes or no. Has there been a review of what Russia tried to do or any other agencies tried to do to interfere in our elections last year, and what must we do to protect our elections next year? Uh, I believe the answer is yes, uh, but I can get further information for you if you like. Um, if that answer is yes, it has not been shared uh, with us. As of today, we've had uh, no information shared. I think this is an important issue. The elections are a short time away, and we need to make sure they are um, secured. Uh, have there been any specific actions taken uh, by the Attorney General following his appearance before this committee? You talked about meetings. Is there anything specifically you can share with us as actions to protect our elections? Yes. The uh, FBI has, uh, the Attorney General and I met with uh, a team of FBI experts and discussed a variety of things that they're doing, uh, some of which are classified. Uh, in addition to that, Homeland Security has a role to play in this, too, in coordination with state and local elections officials. Uh, so there is a lot going on in that area. I, I appreciate that, but uh, I, I think we have to expect that 2016 wasn't the first time the Russians have tried to interfere in our elections. They've inter interfered in elections around the world. They're going to try to inter interfere on in our future elections. Their attacks are going to become more aggressive more intensive, more complicated, we need to be staying a, a step ahead of them. Uh, twice now, uh, the Attorney General Sessions, first in, in front of the Senate and, and then recently in front of this committee, said not enough has been done. The meeting you were talking about, did that happen before November or is that subsequent to Mr. Sessions' appearance here? I, I don't recall the date, Congressman. I'll be happy when we take a break to review it, but uh, I, I don't think there's any inconsistency in my answer. Well, Mr. Session commit, committed to me that uh, the department would brief this committee uh, on any actions taken. Last month after his appearance, I sent a follow-up letter asking for that briefing before the end of the year, ideally before uh, this week and, and the intended adjournment of Congress. Unfortunately, I have not even received a response, let alone a, a scheduling of a briefing. Are you willing to commit that we can have a briefing that you will update this committee on what actions are being taken to make sure our elections are secure next year? If the Attorney General committed that, Congressman, I'll make sure it happens, and I will uh, make sure we respond to your letter. As I mentioned earlier, we make every effort to, and I'm sure it's in the queue. Uh, thank you. I would hope that this moves to the top of the queue, that this is not a priority of a long list of items that may get to eventually. Uh, I think if the confidence of the American people in our electoral process, if the confidence of the American people in our democracy is damaged, as the Russians clearly have tried to do, then the future of the republic is challenged. We need to, this is not a partisan issue, it's not Republican, it's not Democrat. We need to make sure that people respect our elections, know that their votes will be counted, know that their voices will be heard. I am imploring the uh, Department of Justice to work with this committee, to work with Congress, to make sure that the American people can be confident in the future of our elections. I hope I can count on you to work with us. Absolutely, and I, I want to be absolutely clear, that is 
uh, near the top of the list for us, and I know it is for the Attorney General as well. Thank you. I look forward to hearing back on our letter from last month. I yield back. Chair, thanks, gentlemen. Uh, the committee is advised. Mr. Schneider and I are advised that we have votes on the floor. Uh, uh, General Rosenstein, we will be um, back in about 35 to 40 minutes. So if you want to get a bite to eat, whatever, um, we'll have time. The committee will reconvene uh, immediately after this vote series. I think we have about four to six more members to ask questions.